Good morning. It's 8-12 in the morning on September 14th. It's our last day in Austin, unfortunately, but I'm ready to get home. I am also four weeks post-op today. It is hard to believe that four weeks ago this time I was just being rolled back and going through the hardest thing I have ever gone through. It's just hard for me to believe that it's been four weeks since I went through all that. My mom has been so instrumental in my caregiving, and also this experience has been so amazing in that, like, not only proves to you what you can go through, but I have connected with so many people, not only just on YouTube, but good friends that we had kind of lost touch through the years, not through anything other than just distance and social media and things like that. And it was really good um, to reconnect with those three people, and you know who you are. But um, I also reconnected with a friend from San Francisco who lives here, and um, that was really great. So it was great to talk to you, friend. I don't necessarily want to say your name, but uh, so wonderful to hear your voice. And, just catch up a little bit but either way I'm four weeks post-op I'm feeling great um, I'm definitely tired a lot I still am in pain but I'm, I'm trucking through and um, I'm able to kind of like sit to pee now on the toilet even though it greatly burns my wounds um, but at least it's an option if I have to right so still have the catheter flying home tomorrow my lovely roommate is flying in tonight and we're gonna go get her, and then she is driving our car back with all of our supplies and clothes, and then she's an angel for doing that, so my mom and I can just get on a plane tomorrow and fly first class back to Jacksonville, and we will be there in two and a half hours. So we leave at 1.15 and get to Jacksonville at 4.30. So we'll be able to see my brother, see my nephew, whom I miss dearly, and um, see my family, see my friends. I might even get to see my best friend that night. We might get to play some music. I think drums are gonna be excellent, hand therapy. So. We're gonna go on and get on to Mozart's. Uh, it's a real cute place on the on the river, the lake, I don't know, it's on Lake Austin. And it's just the last awesome thing we kind of want to do. Try not to get too sad. I will be back here in June if things you know, go out for stage two. So I um, just kind of want to show you how I'm walking a little bit. I was showing off of my last video. I'm definitely more stable, but I tire really easily. <coughs> so still at about 60% energy, but um, getting back and I think getting home will be good because being in my own bed, being in my own place, in my own surroundings, in my own environment, I think just healing will come quicker and rest will be easier. Offering is never bleak, I'm losing 
Listening in like a kid just finished it, can't be undead. It's 9.43 in the morning. We're here at Mozart's. What a beautiful setting. What a very Austin setting. It's right on Lake Austin. We got coffee and a view. It's a nice pastry and a cupcake. Um, feeling better about going home. Love this city, but I'm four weeks pressed off. Like, I did it, you know? Like, I can't believe I'm here. So we had a really nice time. This was a great last day kind of thing to do. So hope everyone's well and is just as happy as I am because I'm super stoked to get home and start healing there and just accelerate that process and just start living as me so i'm happy i'm thankful i'm grateful joyful all right what's up everyone it is 11 57 so just before noon we had a wonderful time at mozart's thank you isaac for the suggestion it was the it was just perfect drive over there it was gorgeous the, the food and coffee was great the views were even better um so it was a great last austin thing to do we thought we would try to hit up the ladybird uh johnson wildflower research center I'm kind of pooped. My roommate's coming tonight, but my good friend that I reconnected with sent us an order from True Kitchen. Well, yeah, still this arm is still locked. It's kind of funny doing random things. You can tell what you cannot do. Uh, we also, if you'll show the puzzle, we are almost done with this cute little mischievous pets puzzle and we are determined to get it done. So, let's see, here's our pita and then our, dig in. Thank you, friend. This is, we're going to have some good eats on our last day. This is from True Food Kitchen. This looks amazing. All right. We've enjoyed eating our way through Austin, especially the bakeries. All right. Look at the spread. The spread of deliciousness. Oh, this is fine. 